See this abandoned building behind me? It's not an uncommon sight. You see them all over the United States. Developers come in with these big plans and all this money, and uh, they decide to uh, develop some land. First, they, uh, they buy out some houses that people have lived in for close to 100 years or more, passed down from generation to generation. And then they, uh, they buy it out for a substantial amount of money. And the people are usually pretty old, and uh, they're fine with that because, you know, they're towards the end of their life, and they could use that money to live comfortably for the last five years of their life. So in any event, the big contractors with the financial backing come in and they knock down all these old houses that have been standing for, for you know, years. And uh, they decide to put up a, a Walmart, a McDonald's, or a Kroger, or some sort of gas station, a mini mall or something, that it's only going to last for about, I don't know, maybe five years, ten years at the most. That's a pretty long time for a mini mall to stand and stay uh, up and running. And then uh, they go and they, uh, they, it becomes abandoned because everybody loses interest in it because it's not new anymore, it's old, it's, it's undeveloped, it's not modern. So uh, it becomes abandoned. It sits kind of like this building for uh, you know, a good two, three, maybe four years. And then some other contractor with some financial uh, supporters come in and they, uh, they plow it down. They start from scratch with new money, new bricks, new labor, new wiring, new electricity, new lights, new fancy paint and decorations on the inside. It's the same old business, it's the same old products, it's the same old consumer, it's just new paint. But this is something we see in the United States every day. It's happening right now as we speak. Throughout the United States there, there are buildings being tore down because nobody's interested in them in, anymore. And uh, they're, uh, they're, they're rebuilt into something new, like, uh, as I mentioned, stores, more malls, more uh, places to spend our, our big American dollar. Well, I'm not in the United States. I'm in uh, the city of Ulanude in uh, Russia, in the southern part of Siberia. Um, and this building behind me, um, they started to develop this building about 15 years ago when they started to develop the rest of these buildings, which, uh, as you'll see in a few minutes, uh, most of these other buildings are uh, like housing complexes. They're like giant, well, what we call them in, in the United States, we call them the projects, but here it's comfortable living. It's cheap, well, to us it's cheap and affordable and it's comfortable, but initially the military, the government came in and built these structures to, uh, to house the military. And um, when they did this, the military, because the airport's maybe less than a mile away from here, I can see the planes from, from almost where I'm standing. And um, the, uh, so this was housing for the military. So it was pretty convenient to have uh, the airport right across the street and then all the, uh, the troops nearby. And uh, then during, uh, that was towards the end of the Cold War, so uh, when things started to change over the years, uh, they decided to turn these into uh, housing complexes for families, you know, kind of affordable. The family I'm staying with lives in one of these buildings. They, uh, they tell me they pay close to $50 a month for rent, and that includes heat and water and garbage and sanitation, things like that. To us, that's that's cheap, but to them, that's a lot of money. Fifty dollars is a lot of money to these people. So, um, the point of the story is uh, this building behind me, this, this abandoned building, is you would think that it was, you know, some sort of office complex or something to that effect. It it, it was never finished. It was uh, it was it had plans to go in conjunction with the rest of these structures surrounding the airport, just uh, outside of the, the rim of the city. I'm about 15 minutes outside of downtown. And um, this building was never completed for financial reasons. Obviously, things cost money. And when the government says, eh, we don't have the money for that anymore, so we're more interested in our military and other things you know, of that nature, unfortunately, we can't finish that, that structure. And this isn't the only one. You can find them throughout this whole region, these empty buildings where there was, there was never any life that, that breathed inside of these, these halls and these eyes gazing out the windows to the, to the homes and to the scenery and to the people around here. This building was supposed to have been a school and it was never finished and to me that's sad, that's tragic, that something has to be done. I'm sorry, we have these throughout the United States everywhere and, and we throw them away like, like magazines. But these people, they, they need this stuff, they, they need this to survive, this is, this is their life. They, they need things like this to follow through. You know, what can we do? 
what can they do? They have very little choice. All right, well, I'm about to take you on a little tour of the inside of the school, and we'll try and figure out which which rooms were supposed to be for the science classes and which one are supposed to be for the math classes, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, thanks. Really cold out here. Really, really cold out here.